Imagine a colossal iron bridge stretching over the Solway Firth, connecting England and Scotland, a marvel of Victorian engineering. This was the Solway Viaduct, inaugurated in 1869 to transport iron ore from Cumbria to Scottish foundries, bypassing the congested routes through Carlisle. Spanning over a mile with 193 cast iron piers, it was the longest railway bridge in Britain at its time. However, its design had a critical flaw. It lacked an opening span, effectively blocking maritime traffic to Port Carlisle and leading to the port's decline. In the harsh winter of 1881, disaster struck. Massive ice flows, propelled by strong tides, battered the viaduct, destroying 45 piers and 37 girders. Remarkably, no trains were crossing at the time, averting a potential catastrophe. Though repaired by 1884, the viaduct's reputation suffered. By 1921, due to structural concerns and declining usage, it was closed. Yet it found an unexpected second life. Scots, seeking a Sunday drink when their own pubs were closed, would cross the viaduct to English taverns, a risky endeavour that led to numerous accidents. In 1934, the structure was dismantled, with some materials repurposed in local industries. Today, remnants of the viaduct still stand, silent witnesses to a bygone era of ambition and innovation. If you enjoyed this journey into history, please like, share and subscribe for more tales of engineering marvels and forgotten relics.